I am Dr. Gaurav, I am a pediatric cardiologist. Pediatric cardiologist means doctor who deals with the heart of the children. So, I deal with congenital heart disease. Congenital heart disease means the diseases which are present from birth. The heart diseases which are present from birth. So, there can be several diseases which are present from birth in children. Like, uh, the most common is known as a BSD. BSD means ventricular septal defect. It is the defect in the lower chambers. It's a hole, basically a hole between the lower two chambers. So, because of this BSD, the child suffers from many symptoms. He is having failure to thrive. That, that means his weight doesn't grow very well. And he is having frequent episodes of pneumonia. And he is having difficulty in feeding. So, this is the defect which needs to be corrected and we do either surgical correction or non-surgical correction mostly by the age of 6 months to 1 year of age we need to correct this disease there are many other congenital heart disease which are present in children like uh, ASD, atrial septal defect, PDA, patent ductal arteriosis tetralogy of phyllot which is known as TOF and TGA transposition of great arteries, TAPVC and many more diseases. So children with heart disease generally they don't grow well. They lag behind their fellow children who are well and they, they don't get, gain adequate weight. And they have frequent respiratory infections. They, some of the children are blue. They, they are born blue. So we classify the diseases differently and treat accordingly. Like in tetralogy of Fellow, the child is blue. So he is blue from birth, his nails will be blue and nails will be disfigured. This is known as clubbing. So he will be again and again getting more blue when he is crying. So this disease needs to be corrected by the age of 6 months to 1 year depending upon the weight of the child and condition of the child. So congenital heart disease means the diseases which are present from birth. It means this is a defect which is a structural abnormality. It, it is present while the heart is forming inside the mother's womb. So congenital literally means born together, born with. So, so the child is born with the disease. So mostly the cause is not very clear worldwide. Now, we are not sure what is the cause, but it is a structural abnormality in the heart. When the heart is formed, the defect arises. So mostly the heart is not clear, but some people say it can be genetic, it can be environmental, it can be geographical, but mostly the cause is not clear. So, but if a mother is affected, say if the mother has congenital heart disease, then the sibling has more chances of having heart disease. Say, general population has around 1% chances of 1% incidence of heart disease. So if the mother is affected then the children can have 4 to 5% of having heart disease. And if one sibling is affected then the child has 3 to 4% chances of having a heart disease. So when the baby is blue, so if he is excessively blue then he will cry a lot. So we cannot console him. So he is unconsolable, the cry is unconsolable. So he will cry for 15 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour. Then we cannot pacify him with anything. We cannot pacify him with milk or any other thing. So, and sometimes the child gets unconscious also. While becoming, while crying a lot, he becomes unconscious and he can throw seizures. And these are the warning signs. Then when we should immediately take to the doctor, this is an emergency condition. This is known as cyanotic spell and we should, we should have treatment early if the child happens behaves like this. There are basically two methods of closing the hole in the heart. One is open heart surgery and second is by intervention in the cath lab. So the holes are different and there are different indications for closing by surgery or by intervention in the cath lab. But both are feasible and both have their own advantages and disadvantages and now the world is growing towards more of the cath lab procedures by intervention but there are certain defects which cannot be closed by intervention in the cath lab they have to be closed by surgery so, congenital heart disease 
like they cannot be prevented but we can detect it in the mother's womb by doing fetal echocardiography and we can deal accordingly we can have delivery in tertiary care center or we can give options for abortion also if the, the heart defect is very complex so we can do these things so that mother and father can have option when we are doing detection in the uh, mother's womb and secondly when the baby is born with the heart defect then we have to show to a expert to a pediatric cardiologist then we have to take decision early whether to treat him whether to go on medical management and the third thing which i mentioned early also like the diseases which are getting prevalent in adolescent age group like obesity like hypertension and like uh, hyperlipidemia and like diabetes also and these diseases are precursors of uh, coronary artery disease so the coronary artery disease is coming very early nowadays we see coronary artery disease in a 25 30 years adult 35 years adult previously it was not happening like this but nowadays because of our eating habit because of our lifestyle these diseases are present so we have to prevent it we have to maintain our lifestyle we have to do exercise we have to control our diet that's the thing that we should be taking care